My name is John Colfrey. I'm a breast surgical oncologist here at Toro. Uh, I did my training at the MD Anderson Cancer Center and uh, I run a clinic and a surgical practice that specializes in breast diseases, both benign and malignant. Lumpectomy is when we remove the cancer in a healthy rim of normal tissue around the cancer. And so for breast cancer surgery, margins are always important, so we want to have clear margins. I'm excited we're doing a new type of lumpectomy here at Toro where we are placing a radioactive seed about the size of a grain of rice into the cancer. Now the seed does not kill cancer, but it's my sort of GPS system for me to find the cancer and remove it. And by doing that, we've, we've been able to better target the area and more precisely move it with clear margins and good, it, it gives us sort of good 3D spatial relationships. Benefits of the seed are a lot more precise. And so we're able to just pinpoint accuracy be able to detect where the lesion is and remove it, and so we're taking out less tissue. We're removing less tissue. The cosmetic results are fantastic, and it allows a woman to not only keep her breasts with breast conservation, but also to make her breasts look nice and normal, and so she doesn't have a big divot in the breast. So far, we've, we've had clear margins on everyone, and so our success rate has been equivalent to mastectomy where we're removing all of the breast tissue. And in a mastectomy, margins again are typically not a problem because we're removing all the tissue. So, so far we've had very good results. And it allows the woman to preserve her breast. Our patients have been excited to be a part of this progressive breast surgery. And, you know, the old way was you had a lumpectomy, a woman's breast is basically impaled by a wire and the surgeon takes out all the tissue around the wire. It's a little barbaric. But now we're a little bit more sophisticated. We place these seeds in. And so I think for a woman, it allows a bit of a peace of mind that, you know, she's not being impaled with a wire. And it's something that's inside that they can't see. And we're also able to place the seed the day before surgery, and so it allows us to get to the operating room quicker the morning of surgery and doesn't waste any of the patient's time. I was very fortunate to be able to train at MD Anderson where I learned this technique, because honestly, the big cancer centers across the country, this is how they're doing lumpectomies, and they have been for a while. So it's exciting to be able to bring this to New Orleans. We are the first people in the state doing this. We're the first people in the Gulf South that are doing this. And so for our breast program, it's a huge accomplishment. It really is. It took lots of planning, lots of paperwork, and uh, we're very proud of it. So going forward, I hope that we're, do, we're able to do more breast conservation and we're able to keep using the seeds fairly regularly. Have to be well informed when it comes to breast cancer. You know, there's no, it's no longer a vanilla diagnosis where just knee-jerk mastectomy. You know, we have to be more thorough and sophisticated about how we approach it. And a woman needs to feel empowered about her choices because there are choices. And the results, meaning survival and recurrence, are the same with either option, the same with a lumpectomy versus a mastectomy. So it's important that someone explains to breast cancer patients all of the options and doesn't just force them into choosing one option.